Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to teach you about php cookies so let's start so first of all here you can see that i have opened my paint and for example this is our computer like this and this is our server so when your user maybe he will accessing a website from mobile or desktop when he will send a request to our server what our server will do it can embed a small file in our laptop or for example if we are using pc then we can say it can insert a small file in our this pc that will contain some information and the benefit of cookies is we can recognize that which user is accessing our website for example if you are a building a social media website maybe what you can do when user will be login you can insert a user id as a cookie for example user id as a cookie inside uh, the pc of your customer and what will happen each time when your customer will send request to the server and we will also we can also get that user id maybe user id would be suppose first of all let me get bullish from this maybe user id would be 7 and we can display the data to our user i means his profile picture his friends his search history everything about the user we can display this information according to our user if user 8 will access our website we will display information according to our user so this is its usage let me teach you next through practical that how we set cookies so first of all i will create a file here like cookies.php and i will create a php opening tag here and to set cookie what i will do first of all i will type here set and here i will define the cookie name maybe fine gap user underscore user and uh, this is actually our cookie name and we have to type here set cookie the first parameter would be cookie name the second parameter would be cookie value currently i am just typing here maybe 87 and the third parameter is when cookie will be expired so i will tell you that what's its purpose you can you can type here time function and i will type here plus and this then i will type here 86 400 multiply by 30 now our this cookie will be set for 30 days how we know that in one day we have 86,400 seconds and i am multiplying by this time by 30 it means i am calculating seconds in 30 days so and i am just adding 30 days of time in my current time this function will uh, return us the current time so this cookie will be set for 30 days so what does it means that cookie will be set for 30 days after 30 days this file will be removed from our browser automatically so if you are using cookie for login purpose then after 30 days your user account will be logged out at him automatically and he have to again login so in the last we have to type here we have to pass another parameter which is forward slash after this i will press semicolon here and now first of all i will type here xamp so here you can see that my xamp server has been opened now i will open my browser and inside my browser i will type here localhost forward slash learn forward slash php hyphen cookie dot php it is giving me an error so our file name is cookies dot php so i will type here cookies again it is giving me an error sorry our file name is cookies.php not php cookies so now you can see that our file is refreshed and if i press f12 these are our developer tools i will click on this memory not memory but application and here you can see that we have an option for cookies let me zoom in and here you can see that we have an option for cookies and http localhost this is basically our domain name because currently we are running our website on localhost that's why it is displaying us localhost so when i click on this you can see that this information is stored in our browser pinegap underscore user and its value is 87 so and here you can see that this is our domain name currently it is localhost if you are accessing your website maybe from abc.com it will display that website here this is path and similarly this is basically its expiry 
so here you can see that 29 9 20 23 so currently we have 8 uh, 38 and after 30 days because this month contain 31 dates that's why on 29 this cookie will be expired so now how we will check that what is the value of the cookie or the cookie is set or not now i can comment this line or so we can check to check this we can type here like if is set dollar underscore cookie so cookie is also super global i will simply copy the name of our cookie which is fine gap user and again i will type here echo the cookie is set after concatenation i will display the value of our cookie like this and fine gap user and similarly i will press here semicolon so now on refresh first of all you can see that the cookie is set and it is displaying me value let me type here and the value is 87 so by using this technique you can access the value of a specific cookie let me type here like cookie value is equal to we can simply cut that from here and paste it here and here i will type for cookie value so now you can see that the cookie is set and the value is 87 so by using this technique we can access the value of a cookie for example if you, you want to check that either cookie is set or not i will type here else echo the cookie you are looking for does not exist i will press here semicolon so now when i will refresh this it will do nothing suppose if i want to uh, get here like fine gap user or fine gap admin so now because this cookie is not set you can see that our else part of our if is executing the cookie you are looking for does not exist so currently if i press f12 you can see that that cookie is still exist on our browser because we have set this cookie for 30 days and until this date this cookie will remain at this position so professionally uh, when you will work with databases or when you will create a login system you will understand the value of this cookie because by using cookie we recognize that which user is accessing our website different websites set different cookies on your browser to rec to recognize you that which specific user is accessing company's website so currently this was a technique to set cookie and next we have question is how to unset cookie how to unset a specific cookie you just have to do one thing simply set the time of that cookie in minus i will just type here minus maybe we can only define 86400 seconds you can also define the time maybe in one second but i will just type here 86400 so now when i will be refresh you can see that the cookie have been deleted from our browser so you just have to set the cookie time in negative your cookie will be automatically removed from your browser you can also update the value of the cookie by using the same technique suppose if we will set the value uh, our cookie like currently we have set it for 87 and now if i command this you can see that our cookie is still set now if we want to update that, that cookie what we will do we will just do using use a single line like dollar underscore cookie and fine gap underscore user is equal to like maybe i want to set the value to 90 and if i will press semicolon okay this technique is used for sessions we have to use the same method just i will uncomment this and i will type here instead of 87 suppose our user id is 95 95 i will remove this line and now when i will be refresh you can see that our cookie value has been updated successfully so friends this was the technique and this was the concept of cookies in php if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please share this video with your those friends and family members who want to learn web development and stay tuned with us inshallah next ai videos are coming and you will learn a lot from our youtube channel and finally thanks for watching